You've been asking for it, and I've finally got the answer. There's more Ryzen 2000 series coming in budget flavors, plus an updated Ryzen Mobile, more HEDT chips, and Vega 20. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. AMD's top tier Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 consumer CPUs have all been released, but the lack of any mention on replacing their current budget chips led many to wonder if they'd come at all. At first it seemed their last gen Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 might just stay where they're at, with the cheaper price able to fill the more budget oriented builds while their high end second generation cousins would quench the thirst of enthusiast builders. Well, that's not the case. Originally found by video cards, AMD updated their product portfolio, which shows us three of their budget chips being given the plus treatment. Or, well, it did when it was up, but I did see it before, and I doubt that was a mistake. Either way, it listed the Ryzen 3 2100, 2300X, and Ryzen 5 2500X. It also shows all of these as mass market ready. That's pretty much all it gives us, unfortunately. But with it coming from AMD, it's about as official as it can get that it at least will be coming, and probably pretty soon. Oh, and speaking of official, there's a ton more chips on the list. Apparently AMD isn't done with the mobile market this year, having already released Ryzen APUs, the 2200G and 2400G, along with their low power counterparts, the company plans to refresh their Ultrabook low power CPUs. You can see they have the Ryzen 3 2000U, Ryzen 5 2600U, and the first mention of a 2800 CPU in the Ryzen 7 2800U. That of course makes it pretty clear that when AMD told us we might just see a 2800X, given there's a need for it, we really might see one. Next on the list is one that's not too surprising, since we've known AMD was updating the Threadripper CPUs are the 2950X and 2920X. I have little doubt these are the same 16 and 12 core beasts with Zen Plus die shrink and optimization added in. Lastly though, is the 2900X, which for those who may not have paid attention to last year's Threadripper lineup, the 1900X is essentially an 1800X that runs on the X399 platform, with all the support for its added PCI Express lanes, quad channel memory, ECC, etc. I think it's odd that they're releasing this without the 2800X, but it's cool since this should show us about what a 2800X could have or could potentially do, which is definitely an exciting prospect. Lastly for the day, an early benchmark of Vega 20 seems to have surfaced. It's definitely an early engineering sample, but there's one really interesting bit of information on it. It's shown to be running at a frequency of 1 GHz, yet is right at the same score of RX Vega 64 running 750 MHz higher. That puts it in a massive boost in performance over their current water-cooled Vega 64 when given the same frequency. Now, there are a couple caveats. For one, the frequency could be incorrect, and video card seems to think it has been in the past, but WCCF Tech says that when there's an error, it registers as zero. We'll have to see who's right. The second issue is that even if this is correct, while Vega 20 is incredibly impressive working on a 7 nanometer transistor size, it's only meant to make its way to the professional market. That means you won't be seeing an RX Vega in this flavor. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for the next generation Navi architecture that could come in gaming cards? And what about all these new CPUs? Which one are you most interested in? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day. <laughs>